55 years. Okay, I think that's brilliant. Kamal is at it again. You look at everything, though. You're looking at politics, you're looking at... Everything, anything that's, you know, it's like standing on a highway, you know. It's a, a passing parade of the world. One of Australia's best-known singers has a nasty habit. I was isolated in my computer, Twitter and Facebook and all of that. Mm. Five, six hours a day, you know. Really? Yeah, I mean... You're addicted I, I, to I, social I, media. I, I, and it has cost him big time. Maybe he, she's had a belly full, you know. The sounds of goodbye. Kamal has been a huge part of Australian music for more than 50 years. At 87, you are still working. Well, it has never been work. You know, I think it's basically about communication. If I could have the world the way I want. Basically, I use songs to communicate. You know, I mean, most of them, I'm an incurable romantic. And loving wife Sahodra has always been by his side. I met my, my uh, wife in 1965 at the Mandarin Club. She was in an emer uh, emerald green sari. She took my breath away. What followed was 55 years of marriage. Romance and love you have sung and talked about for decades, more than half a yeah. century, yet it's escaped you at the present time. Yeah, I mean, uh, ours was a uh, made in heaven, but the, the weather changed a little bit, you know. You see now, well into their 80s, they have separated. The kind of love I sing about is the ideal, OK? But when it comes to... Uh, every day thing, that, that's the one that you n nurture and you work at it. I, you know, I spoiled her rotten. Even now, I've got a couple of things I bought for her. I don't know how I'm going I'm to give. She might throw it back at me, but I'm going to give it to her anyway. We have to run from... They nearly didn't meet. Young Kamal was a struggling nightclub singer trying to make a name for himself after moving here from Malaysia. And I was to be deported in 1958. I get a telegram from the immigration department, report immediately. And I thought, this is it, you know. I go over there, there's a lady, not so friendly. She said, you've been here since 1953, what have you to say for yourself? Not much, she said, I can see that. And uh, with that, she went through some papers and then she said, the government of Australia has decided to give you permanent resident status. We nearly lost Kamal. Yeah, so anyway, uh, it was that time Camel, no Kamal. Ah, uh, Camel, is that what they call it? K-A-M-A-L. I put the H as a deterrent. Tell me, say. With that deep voice of his, a worldwide number one hit soon followed. A song about, of all things, an elephant. Listen, sir, the elephant. In the 1970s, it stayed at number one here for six weeks and even outsold the Bee Gees in many countries, including New Zealand. I never expected that I would be recognised internationally. I mean, you know, it was just bizarre. But shy Sahodra didn't want to know about fame. She wasn't prepared either. Or expecting long periods alone. Sometimes I was away like five, six months. The decades rolled on and she was always in the background, while he was everywhere. Kamal was a hey hey regular, and very uncomfortably now, at the receiving end of most untasteful jokes. And that famous line of his... Why are people so unkind? ...wasn't born on hey hey. So, so you came up with the line? Of course. Of course. You mean to say hey hey gave me that line? That's absolute BS. Yep, this it was an old song. Why so many people are unkind. He's kept a few important memories and rewards, but the bulk of it from the man who has more gold records than anyone else is in storage. I remember going to your home and seeing them many years ago, all the awards, all the records on the wall. Yeah, uh, you know, it's, you know, I pinch myself there, I mind. You know. Let's take a trip down memory lane. And today our roving reporter Brady Halls is about to surprise him at his home in Sydney. Are you with us, Brad? Yes, indeed. That's the I midday am. show it's with Trace, a reporter who afternoon. didn't have grey hair then, and the star. Kamal, this is your book. 
<laughs> this is my pet pen. <laughs> and what a lovely and, pet pen. And welcome. <laughs> and wel you. Welcome to Taj Kamal. To dream the impossible dream. But like all to dreams, they the end. Fall. Most people would think yeah. when you get into your 80s, yeah. why not just continue on? I think she was sick and tired and frustrated. I'm consumed with internet, Facebook. I'm tweeting. I'm like a bird tweeting from morning till night. Yeah, yeah. And and and, in and doing it's pay, so, I'm paying you know paying a terrible price for it. So this old romantic crooner, now bachelor, has fallen out of the very thing he has sung about for so long. Although there is one love still in his life. Oh, I'm getting a curved. Uh, a curved uh, Screen. disc, yeah. You're not going to give this up any time soon, are you? I can't hear you. <laughs> you can hear me. <laughs> <laughs> no, I mean, what, 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 else is, what else can give me that kind of information? Who'd have thought social media would be the romantic undoing of the wonderful Kamal? At the end of the day, when all is said and done, she's the saint, I'm the sinner. Still to come from Black...